Hey, it's Patrick from the GarageBand Guide. In this video, I'm going to share six GarageBand for iOS tips that are guaranteed to blow your mind. Or at least you'll find them a little bit interesting anyway. Whichever it is, these tips will definitely make your GarageBand production life easier. Did you know that you don't even need to open the GarageBand app to get started? Find the GarageBand app icon and instead of tapping it to open like you usually would, press and hold on it. In the menu that pops up, you get the same options that every app provides when you long press it. Edit homepage, share the app or remove it. You also get the option to open a new GarageBand project in Tracks view to open a new GarageBand project as a live loops grid, to open a new project right into an audio recording, or to open some of the last projects you were working on. This is amazingly handy, especially the option to open a new audio recording. As I'm sure you know, there is nothing worse than having musical inspiration strike only for it to bugger off in the time it takes you to open and set up a new project. If only there was an app that was perfect for solving this problem by allowing you to quickly capture and arrange musical ideas on the fly. RIP Music Memos, what were you thinking, Apple? You can add your own chords to GarageBand's Touch Instruments Chord View. This is great as you can add chord extensions and alternative bass notes, if that floats your boat. Tap on the settings icon in the control bar, it's the cog shaped icon, and then tap edit chords. Tap on the chord strip you want to use for your custom chord. Then swipe on the chord wheels to set the root chord chord quality, and to add an added note if you want. Swipe the bass wheel if you want to add an alternative bass note. Hit done when you're finished and your custom chord strip will be ready to go. Now I'm definitely not much of a pianist, so I find this next one really useful. You can add note labels to piano-based touch instruments. You'll actually need to come out of the GarageBand app itself for this one. Open your iPad or iPhone settings, then scroll down the big old list of apps here. Locate GarageBand and select it. Next, scroll down until you see this option keyboard note labels. Toggle the switch on and when you return to GarageBand, all of your piano based touch instruments keys will be clearly marked so you know which notes are which. Really, really handy. Did you know that you can have any single drum in any of GarageBand's drum kits play a repeating pattern by holding two fingers down on it? If I hold two fingers down on this kick drum, you'll hear the pattern begin. By changing the distance between your fingers, you can adjust the speed of the repeats, making them faster or slower. Moving your fingers around can also adjust the velocity of the beats being played. This works on acoustic drum kits and on electronic drum kits as well.
You can also access alternative autoplay patterns by pressing and holding a different number of fingers on the instrument's chord strips. With an autoplay pattern selected, here's what holding one finger on a chord strip sounds like. Now two fingers. And now three fingers. This works on every autoplay pattern, giving each touch instrument a total of 12 individual patterns. The last thing that you can do with your fingers that would bring me an immense amount of pleasure is to tap or click on the like button. I really appreciate it. Did you know that you can save your own edited electronic drum kits and use them in your projects whenever you want? If I open this electronic drum kit, you can hear all of the default sounds are present and correct. If I then edit these sounds using the drive, bit crush, low cut and high cut controls, you can hear that that changes the sound dramatically. You can change the name of your affected kit by tapping the name of the current kit in the middle of the screen here, and then tapping save. You'll be prompted to enter a name for your custom kit, and when you're done, you can find your edited electronic drum kit in the custom category. Right, that's six GarageBand for iOS tips that you've definitely probably, perhaps, maybe never come across before. Watch this video next for even more GarageBand knowledge bombs.